The 43rd Cleveland International Film Festival kicks off today, and this year it's bigger and better, Holly, than ever. There's an expansion into the Gordon Square Arts District and University Circle. It's so fun. Channel 3's Jim Donovan sat down with Associate Director Patrick Shepard for a look at some of this year's highlights. 43rd year and here we go. What is the success potion for this? We're just very fortunate that we're in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we've got a lot of enthusiastic film goers in this city, in this region. Uh, the Cleveland International Film Festival for the last four years has topped attendance of 100,000, so we're just so grateful. It all began with just eight films in 1977, and my, how things have changed. This year, the Cleveland International Film Festival boasts more than 600 screenings. Associate Director Patrick Shepard has watched the growth firsthand over the past two decades. When I started, 21 years ago, uh, we were at about 35,000 in attendance, and we just slowly expanded over time, and it's because the community wanted more. This year's festival runs from March 27th through April 7th and features films from 71 countries. This year, you're over 210. You're at 213, as you and I sit here right now, with 200 or so documentaries. That is an amazing growth. There's a lot of great film to screen, and we also have another 237 short films that are presented in collective programs. And I gotta say, there's a little bit in this festival for everyone. In past years, the festival has premiered memorable hits like 2016's Believe Land. Believe Land. Uh, the ESPN 30 for 30 documentary, which included you, Jim, uh, as part of it, was the biggest film in festival history. So many people saw it because of the festival and because it was about the Indians, the Browns, and the Cavs. It was very compelling. Here was the cool thing about Believe Land that night it premiered, okay? Packed house mm -hmm. over at Playhouse Square. Mm -hmm. The anticipation of when it finally went up on screen. Mm -hmm. But then the moment it ended, people said, when do I get an opportunity to see it again? Because I really want to see it again. That's when you know you've hit a home run. What is special about a film festival is the opportunity to engage directors and people in the film. If you like Believe Land, this year you'll want to check out Long Time Coming, a 1955 baseball story. They refused to play us because we were black and they were white. It's a fascinating documentary focused on the Little League State Championship in 1955 in the segregated South. Great thing about this film is it shows a reunion of these players on the same grounds where the game took place. It's really, really quite the story. Sports fan or not, there are films for everybody and every interest too. And one thing you can't argue, it's an exciting time to be in Cleveland. In the wide landscape of this, okay, what do you think this does for Cleveland? We feel that we're just trying to make our community a better place in which to live. There are thousands of ways to do that, uh, but this is the way that we choose to do it. And if you go downtown for 12 days between March 27th and April 7th, you're gonna see a very vibrant downtown with the film festival running with those 600 screenings. The Cleveland International Film Festival starts today. It runs through April 7th. We are really proud to be a media partner, so be sure to visit WKYC.com for more information. And this year, the festival will have a film about Lorraine native Toni Morrison. She is a Pulitzer Prize-winning novelist. You can see Toni Morrison, The Pieces I Am, on Friday and Saturday next week.